failing to go past the critical resistance at 33,250 and US 100 at 12,820. We are seeing a good drop again in both these indices and as I expected this is precisely happened now what is going to happen today which trade we should take where to enter where to exit we will try to see with the help of candlestick charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon do watch till the end next analysis will be up just before the us cash session for dow jones and nasdaq so do not forget to press the bell icon also do watch till the end first we'll look into nasdaq 100 followed with dow jones let's start the day with us 100 first us 100 trading uh, just marginally up before above the critical support at 12500 it is trading at 12526 levels remember i told you and we are following this since long that 12500 if, if it broken then 12450 and 12400 these two levels i will be watchful of below that we can see a sharper drop now look at the hourly charts how beautiful it has got its resistance at 12600 in place this is also a number which we are tracking 12820 12600 all these numbers those who are following also those last week those who had seen typically i told you these numbers well in advance and now again the same levels coming into picture 12600 giving it a very strong resistance and it is trying to break out below this now I'll be definitely watchful of 12500 and below that we will be looking forward to 12450, 12400 which may provide a stronger support before it looks over to any reversal. Now right now the resistance there at 12600 with that as resistance it is trying to drop. The MACD, the directional movement is extremely bearish, the stochastic trading flat, the MACD is white divergent and bearish, the RSI near to bottom there. Similarly if you look at the 2 hour charts, on the 2 hour charts it is trying to create create a flow or fall out there the resistance there at 12600 so only go long once you see it trading about 12620 level still the time it is below 12620 do not trade until the time it is below and if it breaks 12500 probably we may see a sharper drop and we can expect it to hit 12400 now 12400 is definitely a very 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 strong support for nasdaq 100 below that i will remain bearish throughout the week throughout the month now look at the Directional movement is bearish. The stochastic is oversold here. I'll be watchful of this. The MACD is white divergent and bearish here too, indicating they can be more fall. And RSI is sloping downwards. If, if you look at the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts too, see it is trying to break out. This is a breakout candle. Previous few candles lower highs, higher lows, consolidation, and this is the breakout here. Breakout means a sharper drop. And yes, a resumption of trade here. Uh, trend here too so it is continued with this but 12500 i'll again be watchful of only if it sustains below 12500 on an hourly candle then only i will expect that it is going to trade or drop more but however it has come back to a zone where we have seen it consolidating and getting supported remember below this a long journey on nasdaq 100 is to be covered till towards 12 to 50 levels and below that 12 250 we can see a sharper drop on the downside see there is a liquidity gap here there is a liquidity gap here and possibly below that again it has to drop till towards 12,000 level so i'll be watchful of this any drop below 12,500 will be definitely taking it towards 12,450 and then below that we can expect a sharper drop 12,400 is something we can be cautious of below the 12250 and 12200 are the next support levels the directional movement is bearish here on the two hour chart three hour charts the stochastic is near to oversold the macd is again on the sell side and rsi is also looking downwards here on the three hour charts now look at the four hour charts on the four hour charts if you look at similarly see it has come back to these levels now these levels are crucial below that we can expect a good drop and yes at 12450 definitely a strong support 12400 very very strong below that we can remain short for 12250 12000 and then below that we may see a sharper drop on the upside breaking past 12600 yes only that time i will recommend you to go long so 12620 is the level you should be watchful of directional movement is bearish the stochastic is near to oversold and the MACD is white divergent and bearish again. The RSI is looking downwards here. Similarly on the daily charts if you look at. On the daily charts. See it is trying to come out of this zone. However it is trying to give you higher lows. And 
again 12500 levels very very strong support below that yes there could be a sharper drop for 12400 and below that we can see a very strong drop till 12 to 50 12000 levels so be cautious and be watchful of that any reversal beyond 12600 will be a very good indication that it is going to reverse again till towards 12800 and plus plus level Direction movement on the daily charts is bullish. The stochastic is near to bottom here on the daily charts. The MACD is trying to converge here and cross over for a bearish move. However, it is right now very much still bullish there. The RSI trading flat. Considering this, only long entry today today is about twelve six twenty. Yes, it can reverse, and that time, do not miss to enter because about twelve six twenty it should be considered as reversal. We will be looking forward to twelve eight hundred and thirteen thousand levels beyond those levels. and on the downside if it breaks below 12 500 when it is below 12 500 the next support 12 450 very strong support and 12 400 these two levels keep in your mind and be watchful of any breakout below this 12 400 close your eyes remain short for 12 to 40 12000 and below that we may see a good drop also take your positions accordingly do not over trade and trade profitably with the stop loss now let's have a look at us 30 US 30 on the early charts, low lows are done here, and it is trying to trade in this channel. The highs of this channel now at 32900. The resistance there at 32950. Only long entry is beyond 32950. Till the time it is below 32950, I will not recommend you to take a trade. 32750, the support there and below which we can see it dropping more. Directional movement extremely bearish. The stochastic is in comfortable zone right now. The MACD is bearish, wide divergent. and if you look at the rsi this is also looking downwards similarly on the two hour charts if you look at on the two hour charts it is also giving you wide bearish indication however once you look into this fashion the lows are done it is trying to trade in this channel 30 to 900 30 to 750 this zone has to be one has to be very very cautious only long entries below beyond 30 to 950 below beyond that one can expect that it is going to give you sharper reversal the highs could be again at around 33 200 Directional movement bearish. The stochastic oversold. The MACD wide divergent and bearish. The RSI is looking downwards, sloping downwards. And if you look at the three R chart, similarly on the three R chart, the trend is more or less the same here. And if you look at this, it is trying. The lows are done. The highs are there. Thirty to nine hundred. Thirty to seven fifty. Do not trade. Rather, I will say thirty to nine fifty. Thirty to seven fifty. Do not trade. Below thirty to seven fifty. Again, there is a support at thirty to seven hundred and uh, rather thirty to six fifty and thirty to six hundred. Below that, only we can see a sharper drop. So once it breaks past thirty to six hundred here, then the next destination is this zone that is thirty to. Thousand to thirty-two thousand two hundred. It will directly land there, and below that we can expect a good sharp drop. Directional movement is bearish. The stochastic is near to bottom, and the MACD is wide divergent and bearish here. The RSI is also looking downward. Now look at the four R charts. On the four R charts, lower highs, lower lows. It is precisely trading, trying to trade in this zone. Any long entry above thirty two nine fifty, see thirty three thousand now is a very strong resistance zone. Beyond that, one can expect it is going to hit thirty three two hundred again. At the same time, this zone at thirty two seven fifty and thirty two six fifty is going to be stronger support zone. So I'll be watchful of that. However, one can go short at thirty two seven fifty and expect it to drop till towards thirty two six ninety and thirty two six fifty levels. If it breaks that, we can see a sharper drop again. Directional movement is bearish here on the US 30. The stochastic is also oversold. The MACD is wide divergent bearish. The RSI is also looking downwards, indicating more bearishness here. Similarly, if you look at the daily charts, on the daily charts you will find the 50 period moving average giving it a support here at 30 to 750 zone. And only breaking this, one can expect that it may try to give you lower lows. And once we say lower lows, it may try to come back to 30. To three hundred thirty to two hundred zone, which is again a strong support zone. Also, look at the previous candle; it left with a strong wick, and now trying to give you a stronger fall. The downside is open. Possibly thirty to six hundred levels should provide a support, and thirty to nine fifty as a very strong resistance. In between thirty to six hundred and nine fifty, we have to be cautious there. Now, if you look at the Directional movement here is bearish. It has crossed over for a bearish move. The stochastic is in comfortable zones. The MACD is trying to converge, and the RSI is sloping. Ah, uh, it is sloping flat right now, but with a slightly bearish bias. So trade with caution and below between thirty to seven fifty and nine fifty, do not trade. 
Rather, one can limit it to 32,750 to 32,900. Do not trade below 32,750. One can go short for 32,690 and 32,650 levels. Very strong support will come into picture, and then 32,600. If these three are taken, then it is going to remain strongly bearish throughout this week and throughout the month. We can hit expect it to drop below 32,000. We can expect it to drop below 31,000 in the coming days. And on the upside, breaking past. 32,900. Yes, you can go long for 32,950. Very, very strong resistance for the day. And beyond that, we will see it flying again till towards 33,050, 33,150, 200 zone. Take your positions accordingly. Do not overtrade. Always keep shifting your stop loss to cost. And always keep putting a trailing stop loss so that in the event of a U turn, you should not close your trade in loss. So trade accordingly. Reach out to me for my mentorship batch and VIP signals group. My telegram ID and email ID is mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading week ahead. Thank you.